Okay. You can okay. drop it now. All Can right. you introduce yes. yourself? Okay. Now, my name is Honorable Tommy Nambako. I'm a member of parliament of the Namibian. Uh, I'm a member of parliament in Namibia, okay. the National Assembly, the Upper House of, of Parliament. Okay. And uh, I am a member of the Committee on Economics. Mm natural resources and public administration. Oh, you remember that now? Yeah. <laughs> and also deputy chairperson of the Legal and Constitutional Affairs Committee. Oh, okay, so I'm talking with a big man, uh, with big pose. <laughs> <laughs> Not so big, uh, oh, okay. but uh, yeah. But I'm sure you are big in Namibia. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, mm. what is the climate situation now in Namibia? Okay, um, Namibia, if we can, can all uh, agree, and uh, probably for those that may not very well be aware, is the driest country in sub-Saharan Africa. Mm. Uh, we have two, two deserts, the Kalahari and the Namib, uh, meaning that the water scarcity in this area is just huge. Also, our average rainfall is quite reduced, very much low. And when it comes, it comes in a very short time, sometimes too much of it mm. in a very, very short time. Sometimes it doesn't come at all. So droughts and all these other things become cyclical. And also when you have like, Namibia is low lying. Now when it rains like in Angola, then without receiving any drop of rain, then we are flooded. Mm. So the water comes from the highlands and run dry. And it's also one of the countries that which does not have any internal river. All our rivers are on the border, shared with mm. other, other countries. So it makes now the problem of uh, climate change and all this uh, uh, sea rising and all this very, very much mm. impacting as far as Namibia is concerned. Mm. So therefore, we, we then others, more than others, should be more prepared to mitigate mm. and adapt ourselves to these conditions. So how is your government responding to, to this? Yeah, uh, like uh, there's eff there are efforts that are really being carried out, but when we conducted our water review uh, some years back, we found that government had all the efforts and plans in place, but these plans were not very well coordinated. And we them that is a fragmented mm. approach to the situation, the other, the, what the right hand is doing, sometimes the left hand doesn't know. And uh, this is supposed to be starting with the, with the planning process. Mm -hmm. Are we planning with all these things in mind, or are we sometimes planning in an isolated, uncoordinated fashion, which will then automatically translate into uh, uh, uncoordinated action mm -hmm. on the ground? So this is this is what so we were you're, you're unable to reap the full benefits of yeah. the mm. programs that you initiate. Yeah. Mm. So in that regard, mm. what role can, um, mm. as a parliamentarian, what mm. role can you, yeah. um, how do you help to mitigate these effects of climate change? Yeah. But what we what we were pro uh, proposing at that stage is actually for us to have an interministerial body that actually oversee all the other efforts mm. that are actually all the ingredients that are needed to be taken care of in the mix of addressing the issue of climate change. You know, the, 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 the aspect of water, the, as yeah, the aspect of water, the aspect of uh, waste management, the aspect of, um, of, 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 of soil uh, erosion, uh, soil uh, manage, land management, the aspect of, uh, of, 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 of erratic rain that we receive, you know, all these other, uh, all these, uh, uh, all these things, even the population growth, the urbanization, all these things need to be coordinated. But if one ministry is doing this in isolation, then the, 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 the benefits that the country is reaping are minimal. But climate change issue is now a global concern. Yes. And I also know we have the African African parliamentarians. 
Yeah. What role can you also do as a collective body yeah. um, towards um, reducing um, its effects on Africa? Maybe yeah. In one yeah. yeah. What, what we should do is actually we should raise awareness and capacity. If members of parliament are coming to parliament, uh, are they really aware of this? Are they appreciative of the, the problem in its whole magnitude? The capacity has to be uh, to be created in orientation programs and also reach out to the to, to the academia to come up with tailor-made programs to, to upgrade the understanding and awareness in the parliamentarian so that they are in a position to pass this on and oversee the government, the part, the executive part, component of the state, to really call them to task and actually call them to, 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 to execute what it is necessary and also to implement the international convention that they are that, that they are signing okay. otherwise we are full of this paper good work good work but when it comes to the implementation the parliamentarians must be in a position to ask the right question in parliament to follow up also because it cannot be like those days when the universities were producing graduates 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 without actually following up on and see what is it that they are doing we cannot be passing laws and signing conventions without following up and monitoring and reviewing and seeing what, what is it that the impact is, 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 be, is and the benefit that we are deriving from mm. these uh, conventions. Well, um, do you have any data, information on climate change? And if yes, where do you get uh, such data from? Such data from? Uh, in, in, in our country, we have what we call the Central Statistics Office. Okay. Where we keep all the data of all the other things, of the surveys and whatever is what is that, whatever is happening. But the problem, the, the the there is no updating of the members of parliament. Or you know, some of these things are not readily available, mm. and there is also no publicity on it as to how often is this updated, what is it that has come in. So we need to give more publicity and prominence to the, to the information available. The academia has to, have to, have to, be, uh, to, to, to be given access to this, to the, the general population, the, the, the community-based organization. Everybody has to get to know where the data is in order to use them for, for their planning and okay. for their uh, official work. All right. So what would be your message to the climate change in December, in Copenhagen, in the one meeting. Yeah. Uh, okay. What what I, I would uh, what I would want to see taking place is really like <coughs> there must be not so much of a, a national response to mm -hmm. climate change, but a, a regional, integrated, because it doesn't help if you <coughs> if you, for example, in your country, uh, let's say like the international rivers. This, this, these rivers do not recognize borders. Yeah. If you are effective in your country in addressing this problem, and we have seen it like in Europe, in all the other aspects, if Europe is developed and everything is fine, what about the, 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 the continent next? People will come over. So, so are the problems. So if the problems are addressed well in, in one country, but on the other side, it's not, it's, it's not well addressed. Mm -hmm. If they, 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 they are no early warning system on our floods and all these other uh, uh, issues that are caused by climate change, then it will definitely spill over into mm. the country that, that is less prepared. Mm. So this strategy has to be coordinated. There must be body that are coordinating this, and there must be early warning systems that are in place where these warnings are actually shared by the countries that are actually affected by the same and those that are... Uh, that are affected by the same disasters.